All right, welcome back to the Badlands. We're on the immigration screen because I'm going to complain about immigration in here again, but it was changed right after the recording of this episode. There's been an update. I wanted to show the new immigration screen. We have manual immigration and automatic immigration. I targeted the cliffside here and I hit migrate population. You see right here, here's the automatic. And it says uh, cliffside doesn't have any automatic immigration. Let's say I set this to four just for the heck of it. All right, you can see minimum of four. I can't do anything here, it's grayed out because it's cliffside to cliffside. This makes a lot of sense. So if I want to get rid of everybody in cliffside and put them in the main jam, I go like this. And then I hit infinity and beyond. And you see that the population of cliffside is going to redu be reduced to four because I have the minimum on automatic immigration set to four. If I set it down to zero and then hit infinity and beyond again, everybody goes out. And then uh, I can bump it up from main jam to cliffside 10 at a time. And then I can bump it down 10 at a time. That's a lot easier to use. Anyway, new immigration screen. Let's get back to the episode. Well, we have 1,500 carrots. And you know I've run out of food before. But I am going to issue the order to dig up the berries. All right, the drought is over. What's our low water point? Uh, low water point is, uh, well, right now it's 0.29. And it's still going to be dropping for a little bit. This poor district is so lonely. However, once the water comes back, I don't want to put a pump here because this is, uh, too deep, right? And the water stays here and keeps our carrots alive. But water's an issue. I don't have enough water storage here. And so I guess what I what I can do is I'll order some more water storage to be built and then, you know, I can I can work these if I want to. If I want to fill that side up faster, let's just raise this up. No water for a little bit. So you see we just after that water release, we just we got below stump level. <laughs> what what a water gauge. Stump level. All right. I've had all water pouring in here. I am going to go ahead and uh, lower this back down to zero so we have water split between both sides again. So we don't run out over here. And I tell you, power problems with all these beavers over here. You know what I'm going to do? You know why I'm clearing this out? Because we're going to redo this. You're gone. Yeah, we don't have any power here. I'm, uh, we're going, we're going manual labor. Okay, <laughs> I finally got this contraption built. Uh, that's the most power wheels I can fit in this area, at least right now. And I can always put some on the other side. You know what? I'm not done building. I'm going to delete this. I can't fit another one over here, but for future expansion... I know, you're yellow because of the tree. Power connection is blocked. Yeah, that's fine. You're perfectly fine. I don't know why you turn yellow. Get all these power wheels built. We have 34 homeless here because uh, I moved so many people over. Let's let's get cliffside back under operation. Migrate population for the cliffside. Let's uh, bring 15 over. I am taking from main jam, right? Yep. Cliffside's at 17. I lost count. Something's really wrong with that. All right, so we're past that period in the drought where the water flow has been below normal and water is escaping because everything's full so now i need to figure out how many of these things i can have active without making this this uh, city go thirsty but anyway we'll get you dumping and yes this dried up good you know my my goal is no water leaves the map and it's time to unlock that builder's hut for a whopping 100 science that i haven't done yet because we need builders Need more builders. Let's get that in. I'm going to bump this up to four. And this will, will be, again, slightly... Not the construction site. I actually want this built fast. But the workplace will be a little bit below default priority. We need builders. I'm taking out all these trees. These trees are useless to me. So that I can put in more industry over here. And we don't have very much power at all. It's all... Beaver power by the day. Oh, how much of those batteries? How much of these batteries? 400 science for the for the uh, batteries, but they need metal. Mm-hmm. And uh, windmills, too. 
Uh, we got another drought coming up in three days. All right, I'm going to unlock the battery gravity. We have 757 science left. The windmills require paper. But the little windmill, which can only offer 200 horsepower, but hey, it's better than nothing. This just requires logs and planks for 120. And you better believe we're probably going to need this, but that means we're going to need a gear workshop. This is 80, sure. And then where is that uh, under wood? Let's unlock that gear workshop for 100. We're going to need a gear workshop eventually, too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I could build uh, I could build more power over the water. Total system power during the day, depending on how fast the uh, water wheel goes, is uh, 475. Totally wasted right now. But I've got stuff going in. <laughs> I tell you what. I prioritize this, please. And you can't actually get around at the moment. That's a problem. I could build a path over this. Anyway, you're going to slowly chew that stuff up. I'm going to put a gear workshop over here. Gears, 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 gears. Yep. And do I want to put it here? I can put it here and I can put another building here to share power. I like that. So let's put a gear workshop here. A six day drop. Man, the game's being nice to me. Six days. Uh, and we have uh, 0.75. Highest water level was 0.75. It's dropped fast, but I think we have enough water. Now, the question is, yeah, I, I feel like we're not letting water leave the map. There we go. The question is, yeah, you, you got to pause these. I got to pause these. Yep. Otherwise, this district runs out of water. We have 445 or so water. We're still pumping. We've got a lot of water storage. You know, I really kind of wish we had more water storage. I don't have any gears yet, so I can't make the big water barrel. But why don't we go ahead and put more water storage right here. Get that built, guys. And maybe uh, with, with the last thing that these pumps do before this water's drained is fill those up. You know, I get a lot of personal satisfaction seeing these beavers hop on these wheels and work all day. Two days left of the drought and the water in the main stream here is dropping. We might as well go ahead and fill it back up. Use it or lose it. I think we're only going to need one bloop. And why don't I, with this active, why don't I just watch over here and when it gets to the end here, I'll stop it. You guys don't have a lot of pumping to do though, so you know what? There we go. Oops, wrong way. Alright, and maybe that one bloop will be enough. We are producing 600 power during the day. Nothing at night, but that's okay. These guys don't work at night, so it's fine. We don't need power at night. We do have a gear workshop up, which means we have gears. You need planks. We're really low on planks at the moment, but we should be building them back up. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I have district distribution limits set here that we don't ship out planks if we're under 25 of them. Okay. And I don't believe... Oh, I'm using planks here. Yep. Using planks here. Alright, well, let's use all the power that we have. Let's build another uh, lumber mill right here. That's how I'm connecting up the power. I could do that, or I could do this and put a little power connection. I think a paper mill might go here. You know what I'm saying? I think a paper mill would fit right there. So that's good, and that'll connect the power. And you need a road connection. Let's go all the way out here. I am going to go ahead and... Um, the paper mill is 250 and we have 831 signs. Let's go ahead and unlock the paper mill. And I think I was right about this fitting right here. Yeah. You can fit right here. And I'm going to go ahead and pause your construction. But I just wanted to, to make sure that I don't forget and build something there. 
So you know what? You need logs. And we don't have enough storage for logs. It's not labor, it's the boxes. Where can I put... Look at these annoying little trees. Here they come. There it is right here. New log pile. I'll high prioritize the construction of this. And then we'll actually be able to cut down more maples. Look at all the maples that are constantly not able to be cut down because we have so many. And this will be ideal. You just have to walk right out here and get your logs, turn them into planks. Which means probably I could build another planker right next to you, right? I think so. Wow, we collected a lot of scrap metal. I just built this warehouse. Good grief. How about that? And all of these are going to be scrap metal only. All right, we, we may not have flow out of the city yet, but I feel like it, you can see the water flowing in here now. I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start doing this. Three, four, five, we'll do six. And we'll see if the pumping district runs out, it's Bunu, runs out of water or not. And our goal is to get above 0.75. And yes, I'm paranoid, more water barrels to hold the water. One day I'll have enough gears to pass gears around between the districts. Alright, new water dump is up as the uh, sun sets. Let me slow it down so I can describe it. I've got a path that winds up here. I've got a path that winds around and down here. I did pull out my healing stations, but we know that the beavers are getting hurt from time to time. So why don't I put in another, uh, let's see, what was it? It's the medical bed. Performs better when supplied. Yeah, well, that's okay. I will put one in, and then I did take out a water barrel here to put this in. So let me put in one more water barrel, because water everywhere. This is why you should always put in uh, gears that give you room for expansion. And I didn't do it here because of the wall, but I put in a corner here instead of a four-way. It doesn't hurt to put a four-way in, and uh, so I had to take it apart and do this. We'll high prioritize that. Putting in another water wheel right here. That's that's all the water wheels. Uh, I could put one in here, and again, I put in a three-way instead of a four-way. So I think we can do three water wheels max. All right, and with this little problem fixed, take out the wooden stairs I made so the beavers can get down to them, and put in a water wheel right here. I think you can build it by hopping over here and chewing on it, I think. I prioritize you. Let's see how much max power we can get during a non-drought. It ain't much, but it's something. Total power right now is 622, and then they all go home. And we're 19. It's so sad. All right, we're checking in on the pumping district. We don't have max water, but we sure are drying this area out. I gotta be careful, though, because we're really... So, so I think this area dries out because the pumps are moving, because we're dumping the water. But check it out. On the water gauge, which is up right here, we're at our max of 0.76 at the moment. Yep, and as night falls and the pumps stop, the water comes back in here. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job, potentially, keeping water on the map. As a matter of fact, these pumps, I doubt, get much use at all. Very nice. And so this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six of the water dumps working during the day. And it's almost evening and you can see again, we just ran this thing dry. So these pumps are dry. Our current water level here is about 180. It seems like we maxed out at 180 and then we drop at night and we never get down to zero. And then at night, of course, the pump stops so the water comes back in. <laughs> This is a very, very manual process. But hey, I need all the water I can get. So what, one is maybe at the top of this? That would make sense, right? One. Oh, you're hungry. Uh-oh. What happened? You don't have any... You don't have any carrots. Oh, no. Oh, no. Remember I was complaining about this population dropping? Uh, pumping district. 
Carrot. Carrot. You're gonna have to make your own food. I can't believe they're hungry. We have plenty of carrots here, right? We only have 280 carrots here. Most unfortunate. What did I do wrong? You're planting, you're harvesting, you're harvesting, you're harvesting, you're planting. Oh, check out the water wheels are going. So what's our total power now? A whopping 615. Ooh. But yeah, why are we out? So you're completely out of food over here. Where can you farm? Uh, did I did I kill the berry picker? Is that what happened? Yeah, that was a mistake. This was a mistake because I think the berry picker dude was was helping. Okay, nope. Food, gather flag. Um, let's put two of them in. Let's uh, get these construction sites high priority. And uh, blueberries only, please. Almost forgot to do that. And your workplace is above average. Priority, whatever we want to call it. All right, get those in. Start getting some blueberries in there. I'm really surprised. Why aren't we delivering carrots? The main jam's not giving you any carrots because for some reason it's low. You still low on carrots? 371, what is the district distribution limits here? 400? All right, let's lower it to 300 so that they don't die. And let me figure out why we're suddenly so low on carrots. Is it a storage problem? Is it, is it a population problem suddenly? Um, I usually judge the population by this. No, this is empty, so we're not up to full population. Uh, it's boom and bust in the carrot markets, man. All right, and we're not getting this built. Why? Because we don't have any builders. We have builders. I'm building uh, more things. Here comes that drought. Whoa, three days till the next drought. Yeah. Okay. Let's put in. Uh, let's put in another farmer. Two farmers. Two farmhouses. Here, and here, and uh, it's going to be carrots again because they're the only ones. They lengthen the lifespan. It just. It just works easy for me, and I don't want to do it over here. We do carrots over here. And uh, you're gonna go down here. There we go. Another pretty beefy planting of carrots. And uh, somebody's already planting up there. I don't know who that is, but let's get these built. High priority. Construction site. High priority, please. We got plenty of logs. All right. Two days before the drought, the water level is at one. Does this mean that it... Yeah, it's flooding. It's going above one. We're actually making it to the next level. How about that? That's the highest we've been. I am ready and not ready for an 11 day drought. Come on. And you all got some food? Yeah, you got about 100 carrots. You got 42 berries. Okay, good. You've been picking the berries. Yeah, we really need a farm over here, but I need to build some water storage. And you know what? Why not put, you know, the typical, I should have done this before. But you know what I'm going to do here. The uh, levees. And let's do it right here. And in preparation for the drought, I'm turning off all these water dumps. But this water dump, I'm building the water dump here. And then uh, we'll have a farm to uh, make some carrots here. All right, it's morning. We're at 107. Oh, it's only a five day drought. Wow. Talk about anticlimactic. And you're full of water. This is good. How are we doing over here? You are full of water. Good. And uh, these two pumps will drain this top area. They, they don't touch the deep area here. This, this deep little strip right here keeps water in it. At least it was able to survive 10 days with water. And that was our longest drought so far, and everything else seems fine, and you're still working on the metal, and you've got a lot of space left to go. Good, and the warehouses aren't full. All right. And we're way below the low limit on the carrots, which I'm actually going to raise back to 400. 
I'm a little alarmed that we lost so many carrots. But there they go. You're going to plant some more carrots. Good. And I did put two farmhouses in. You're planting. You're planting. I think you're going to be... Since you're over on this side, I think you're going to be the harvest. Oh, you're harvesting. Uh, okay. But you're planting. I'm okay with that. All right. How are the carrots num numbers looking? Up to 265 now. Okay. I'm going to make sure this other district isn't starving. Are you starving? You only have 55 carrots. You have 72 berries. You're growing your own carrots, which will help immensely. What's wrong with this? Oh, I forgot a very important piece. Hey. All right. Drop the water in. There you go. And this area now should stay green. All right, fast forward a week and a couple of patches, and I'm looking at an area that has driven a couple of viewers crazy because, yes, if I fill this up anymore, the water is just going to drain right out. So uh, I think these builders should be able to reach this, except we had a death wave. And I'm not sure. I, I believe the problem is I'm building all the houses in big clumps and so when you build a house you pretty much create new beavers within a day of building the house and then what happens is these death waves keep happening over and over again and you lose these big quantities of the beeves uh we had a bunch born but we also had a bunch die of old age so this this uh the main jam is uh bereft of the beeves Regardless, we're going to put in a levy to solve this little problem. You are too far away from the builders because we don't have steps up here. And then we'll get a road up here and we'll get these built. I, that shouldn't be too far away. I mean, the district center is the district center is right here for crying out loud. Oh, and the steps haven't been built yet. That's why. Well, we'll let the we'll let the blue man crew there. The steps are up. Does that mean this is reachable? It's still not reachable. Okay, fine. Now it's reachable. Finally. Okay. That should solve that little problem. Now, second thing somebody pointed out. I'll wait until daytime. Second thing somebody pointed out is it's a bad idea to build these really big shallow reservoirs because of evaporation. The problem is... And maybe I should put this reminder at the very beginning of every episode is that I have one water blo block. We're in a drought. I have one water block that serves this whole map. Just a single water block. So making the river wider is not going to give me more water. And it doesn't sound like fun to make like a tall, shallow maze here. Because uh, to try to reduce evaporation, that, that just doesn't compute with me. I feel like that the surface area of the water, if I want to hold this much water, the surface area is going to be the same. I could potentially, and, and maybe this was, this was the commenter's point, I could potentially block this off to build a deeper reservoir here. Maybe that's a good idea. I'll have to think about that. But anyway, yeah, this is subject to a massive amount of evaporation. Although we're still at 0.93. And, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's certainly not ideal. But I, I don't play an ideal game. So, so there you go. All right. And uh, anytime you want to get these things built, do I have to high? I, I don't think I have anything else under construction. But let's go ahead and high prioritize this so we get this whole situation over with as soon as possible. Okay, now, I uh, planted more carrots. The carrots are all planted. You can actually reach way over here. Why wouldn't I plant all the way up there? Probably. Remember, I wanted to do potatoes, but then we ran out of carrots. We're only sitting on 375 carrots, which is absolutely crazy. That's crazy. I'm, I'm shipping the carrots somewhere. I must be. And not realizing it. I am shipping carrots to Cliffside and the pumping district, and the pumping district. Okay. And then in the pumping district, I just want to check my district distribution limit for carrots is a high of 400. 
Okay. And how many carrots do we have here? We have nothing. Yeah, but I did add a farm. I added a farm for carrots. Good. I, I haven't been able to play for a week. It's been driving me nuts. But I added a farm for carrots. This is good. I added these guys who are just sitting around on a bunch of blueberries and then dandelions. Not even Ooh, blueberries. Dandelions. Do we have... We don't even have any blueberries here anymore. But we have 41 carrots. Yeah, this is a problem until these carrots get in. We have farmers. We have farmers. You're selected for planting, which I think works for a single farmer. All right, I'm going to splash a little water because we did run out of water. I need dynamite. I, I just need to uh, to buckle down and uh, create some dynamite so that I can make some deeper areas here. Because this was a very short drought. Yeah, you guys are hungry again. It's okay. I cleared an area where I'm going to plant even more carrots now. I believe that's your reach limit. Nope, one more. All right, the drought is over, and we have 0.76 water left, which means I should be able to easily get above one block. And in the main jam, we have 32 chestnuts. That's great. Seven, 70 gears. We're using them up 112 planks. I'm going to go ahead and make the smelter. The smelter is going to need 200 horsepower. And our current output is a whopping 640. So with all the little beeves whirling about, we ought to be able to make enough to smelt some metal. Then if we look at the requirements for the dynamite, it's going to be under landscaping. The uh, explosive factory needs 30 planks, 30 gears, 30 metal blocks. And dynamite needs uh, paper. Yeah, three paper, three hours equals one stick of dynamite magically. So I'll go ahead and unpause the uh, building of the paper mill. We'll get the paper and the metal in here so we can get that created. So we'll be ready to make dynamite. And our levee's up, so now we won't lose water. I didn't miss any other spots, did I? I'm still thinking about evaporation and potentially saving some water by building a pretty tall structure here. I would have to ship a lot of wood. We, we do have a significant amount of wood here. I would have to ship more wood. I could make a forester up here, you know, put a, put a water storage up here and uh, maybe build, make some, build some maple trees. You know what I'm trying to say? Maybe, maybe, and then perhaps build a big water storage here. I'm just, I'm not convinced that all in all, that's going to be the key to getting me to 11 days since I already have seen that I can survive for 10 days. Unconnected building. All right. I built another farmhouse, forgot to put a road in. So, you know, I need to ship scrap metal back here. <laughs> How quickly I forgot. All right. I forgot to build a drop off point. The drop off point has been installed now. Now I can go over here, click on this, add a new route to right here. It's going to be scrap metal. Ship it, Dano. Eight of ten routes. I'm adding a gear route. We don't have a lot of excess gears, but I want to ship gears over here because I want to store a lot more water here. Gears. Okay, I gotta set district distribution limits right away for gears. I don't want this district to have any more than, say, 15 gears at a time. And then remind me, underwater, the big water tank requires 20 gears and 30 planks. And we have 25 planks. Okay, we can... Now, 15 gears is fine. It'll be a little slower, but I don't want to use too many. And you have plenty of carrots here. I've added another storage for more carrots and some metal and some gears. New beaver homes in the main jam. Here we go. Look at it. They're full already. It's, <laughs> it's full. It's full of beavers that are going to die quickly. Well, I don't know what to do, man. Move, move all the old beavers here. I don't know how this works. Anyway, I'm going to build our first large water tank here. Uh, we're already out of gears here. We've either shipped them all or used them all. We have one. 
And uh, we haven't started using them here yet. I think we're still... No. We are now building... Yes, we're now making scrap metal. Or sorry, we're now, we're now making metal blocks. We have one. Congratulations, everybody. Our first metal block. All right, something horrible has happened. This district has 78 gears. I know, I know that I set the district distribution limit for gears to, I forgot. I thought, sure, I set it to 15. Didn't I talk about setting it to 15? What did I do? What in the world did I do? Well, this is where all the gears went. 15, well, might as well set it to 20. 20 gears, please. We shipped all the gears over here. And the low will also be 20. I'm gonna ship them back. I mean, the beavers need something to do. Add a new route over to here. It's gonna be gears. Okay. Once the gears get back, we'll, uh, I'll turn off that route. I am literally trying to figure out where all the gears went. We're down to 35 gears here in Cliffside. I did set this limit wrong. I accidentally set this limit to 15. I don't want to. I don't want to create a new route. The limit here is now a low. We won't ship out below 60, and we won't accept any above 100. But for a while, this was still sitting at 15 because this is the one I set by mistake. And I believe the gears were flushed down the drain. Uh, because they're, they're just gone. Okay, there. This got built. Alright, so they must have been in transit because this is now built. Good. Good. Okay. Right. So we have this little uh, entertainment thing and we have uh, two new houses. And I've got to start thinking about making the Lido's and other things. Although, water's a little tight. But... And uh, we're not up above one yet, but soon. Soon. And we haven't had a drought notification yet. And we are, I believe, pretty full of water here. Why don't I go ahead and build one of those big old water containers here too, which means I'm going to have to ship some gears over here. All right, I've got a route set up for gears from the main jam to the pumping district, but we don't have any gears in stock at the moment. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. In the meantime, uh, we're full of water. So let me unpause these and see how fast I can get this level raised up without running this district out of water. And let's see, how many unemployed do we have here? We still have one unemployed. Okay, good. So you go ahead and pour the water in. We're currently at 1.05. Our old high was 1.08. I think that was a slosh. But we should be there shortly. All right, it's morning. Another suggestion was, what if I completely cut off the water flow to the right side. Let's do that. I'm gonna completely cut it off and I'll wait and go ahead and let it flow through here. And uh, this should, yeah, this is gonna pick up speed faster. And we'll see how fast I can fill this up. And then once this water level gets too low, I'll uh, turn it back on again. It's not really adding to the power. You can see the supply is about 600 and I'm going to say 650 at the most, even though we're above that. And the demand is 550, so we're doing all right at the moment. Unable to get all the required materials. Logs, scrap metal, metal blocks. Ah. We perhaps have no storage for scrap metal, or we need more scrap metal shipping. What do you, what do you say you're doing over here? This district has 705 scrap metal. Let's add a new scrap metal route over to the main jam. Scrap metal. And I'm going to suggest, there it is. I'm going to, let's make sure I have this targeted. Our scrap metal limits is 100. We have 16. I'm going to set this to 300 just in case. For some reason, they're not delivering as much as they could. Now, these haulers here, distribution beeves, 
They have to go through the water, so they're definitely going to get a speed bonus, and they're going to cool off during a drown. And uh, we are filling quite nicely. How about that? What do we got here? Uh, 1.14. And then if we look here, 0. 0.56. What do you think? 0. 0.25? And I turn on the flow again? Ah, but now we can't pump water here anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm going to turn on the flow again. It gave us a boost, but I, in the long run, I don't know if, if uh, I gain anything. Because the same amount of water is going through. And I've been doing a pretty good job of keeping the water on the map. Somebody also suggested that I go ahead and build another dam here because... I mean, really, why not? Uh, I could... I could forcibly block it off, but because this rarely flows, except at night, why not go ahead and build a dam, and uh, we'll build a road over it. Alright, we have a drought incoming in three days. Will this be the 11 day drought, or is it going to be something silly like a two day drought? How are we doing with water? Amazingly, we still have a decent amount of water. It's got to be dropping quickly. We we have two pumps going. But, uh, oh, they're building the dam over there. I don't need to watch it. But uh, we... This needs to go up before the water starts flowing over here again. If we look up here... How are we doing with water over here? More importantly, how are we doing with water in the big tank? I wonder if we... Ah, you're filling it up. You are filling it up. I don't really think we need another pump. I'm putting in a medical bed over here. Just a little medical bed. Just needs one spot. Where can you go? Put you right over here. For those injured beavers. So how are we doing? 1.6 days to the drought. Our water level is 1.23. And water level is looking pretty low. We're going to have to stock up the water supply. So we're going to pause this. All right, get out there. We still don't have a lot of water overflowing the dam. We almost have that second dam, though, but it's not going to do us any good, really. And this district now, I think, has plenty of food. 390 plus carrots, 174 berries. I think this district is food independent. But they're thirsty. Well, we're just now pumping again. Yeah, I may have to do a early release to uh, make sure you get enough water. But, uh, okay, the thirst is going away. But, you know, we need these water reserves high when we go into a drought. And as soon as I got the drought signal, I should have paused all these. I really should have. Yeah, you're drying up again. All right. I'm going to have to do an early release. I know. It's kind of a waste because I had built up so much water. But we need to pump this water out. There it goes. And uh, we do have the dam built over there so we can hold it in. Let's get a good flow going. Turn it off. What do we lower down to? Hey, we're still at 1.22, all right? Which is, which is a record. We know that below one we can survive a 10-day drought. Uh, we've got enough water in here to do the pump. De-dump. Alright, it's morning. Nine day drought. It's not 11. It's not 10. It's 9. In the main jam, we do have 44 scrap and 11 metal blocks and 128 pieces of paper, 264 planks, 60 gears. In the pumping district, we don't have any gears yet. We're not shipping them out. We have 25 planks. We do have 196 logs. Over here, we should have max logs. Whoa, what, what's this? What is this? Oh, oh, you're injured. I don't want to hear about it. Uh, and actually, we, we, we're full of water over here, too, going into the drought. That's good. We're okay with water over here. We need to ship gears over here before I can build this big tank. And then if we go up to cliffside... We... I wonder how many unemployed do we have on Cliffside? We have 13 vacancies. 
I really need more homes over here. I'm not ready to commit to that yet. And uh, the water has dried up. And we do still have a lot of water here. 1.22. We've got plenty of water if I want to start letting it flow. And uh, we've got this extra dam set up. And again, uh, the only other water on the map is way over here. Uh, there's two water blocks right here. And I don't really want to touch this unless I absolutely have to. Dynamite is the way to get this flowing down through here. I could build a district over here and have them haul it manually, but I don't think we need it. We're just we're just a little light on power, and uh, obviously, uh, I need the dynamite I think to make litos and such because I don't really have a place to build it that's going to hold water. I think, in order to build the entertainment, I'm going to want to dynamite little squares to hold the water. Of course, I could build levees around to hold the water as well. I'll have to think about that. I'm not really into their entertainment yet. I'm more into their working their little beaver butts off to get me some stuff because we can't even make a dynamite factory yet. Remind me how much we need for a dynamite factory. It's under landscaping. We need 30 metal blocks, 30 gears, 30 planks. We're getting close. We're almost halfway there with the metal blocks. Then we can make some dynamite, slowly but surely. And then the last thing is I could potentially build a small but deep reservoir here to release water in an emergency. I'm just not sure that that would help me that much. Because while the evaporation seems to be bad here, it's not so bad that, it, uh, that we don't lose water so fast that we're going to run out in the longest drought. How interesting. And there's other things I'm sure I can do. Uh, suggestions always welcome, of course. But anyway, let's turn off the user interface. And uh, here we are in the middle of a nine-day drought. And, uh, you know, so far I haven't killed anybody off in mass. Right? So I got that much going for me. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you later.